essentially what the James Webb telescope has seen or is detecting is an object that's about 10 light years away from us and it's approaching us. It's heading in our direction. NASA and all these space agencies are of course looking for things that are coming at us because if something hits us, it could wipe us out. So they're always looking to see if there's any threats that they should be aware of that maybe they should just like dart prove that we can change the trajectory even just a little bit, uh, something, whatever we can do and prepare. Well, this is an object that they saw that's about 10 light years away coming right at us that is changing trajectories. And not just changing trajectories, it's, it's as if it's heading towards us and it's drifting off course and course correcting to maintain toward coming towards us. It's like it's a spaceship that's going, we're off course, change trajectory, and it shifts back course correction to maintain coming right at us. Incredible. And I, I'm, I'm just bewildered. I found an, an article that talks about it, but I also want to play clips of a podcast, of the vetted podcast. And it has a James, I don't want to get his name wrong. No, excuse me, Simon Holland. Professor Simon Holland is on the show talking about the discovery. And this is, what, what's going on is very interesting because Congress is now having these meetings about the James Webb Telescope, but they're not telling the public. There's a lot of buzz about this potential finding of this object that the James Webb Telescope has seen. Very cool. Yes, alien, alien signatures. Yes, I, that's what I'm saying. All right, so check this out. Here's an article that's pretty much talking about it here. Has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered a universe-altering secret? It's from David Freeman. This is just three days ago. The recent cryptic responses from Representative Andre Carson regarding classified briefings about the James Webb Space Telescope has reignited curiosity and raised serious questions about the nature of discoveries being made in the far reaches of space. With Carson declining to comment on whether he had attended any briefings about the telescope's findings, speculation has spread regarding what exactly is being kept from the public. It's becoming increasingly clear that there is more to the story than what's being disclosed, leading many to ask, what has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered or uncovered? And why is Congress receiving secret briefings about it? The James Webb Space Telescope, known for its unparalleled ability to peer deeper into space than any telescope before it, has already produced groundbreaking discoveries. However, the most recent rumor suggests that the telescope may have detected something entirely unexpected, a large object approximately 10 light years away from Earth. And I want to add, by large, it is, there's no actual wording. But the only word that I heard someone reference this object, massive, a massive object. It's not tiny. This thing isn't small. Okay, I just want to tell you that this is a, a very large object. And it's behaving in ways that defy current scientific understanding. Reports hint that this object has been moving in such a way that suggests that it is not simply a natural celestial body like an asteroid but something else, perhaps even an artificial structure or UFO. The speculation, the speculation doesn't end there. According to sources, the object have, has been observed, making deliberate changes in its trajectory, leading some to believe it might be under intelligent control. If true, this would be one of the most significant discoveries in human history, signaling the presence of extraterrestrial life or an advanced alien civilization. Yet, rather than making such a monumental discovery public, it seems that this information is being shared only in closed-doors sessions with certain members of Congress. Why the secrecy? Why does the government know? Uh, what does the government know that it isn't sharing? 
Adding fuel to the fire, reports suggest that the U.S. Department of Defense and other international agencies are also closely monitoring the object. Breakthrough Listen, an initiative focusing or focused on the search of extraterrestrial life, is reportedly using its resources to gather more data on the mysterious object. This raises the question, why the involvement of organizations typically concerned with national security and extra, uh, extraterrestrial detection? What has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered that warrants such attention from both scientific and defense communities? Yeah, why is the DOD on board? What, what's going on that the DOD is getting involved? Clearly, something's there that they're afraid of or and or are preparing for and not necessarily a, a fear but a, pre a preparedness because from what i've learned about the government if there is a one percent chance that something could be true they have a contingency for it right and to some extent that makes sense but the dod is is in on this they're they're going to these meetings something is happening there is some sort of object that is heading our way, that's changing trajectory, that the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered or detected, and they're talking about it. They know more than what we know. This is cool. This is cool. One of the most compelling aspects of this story is the claim the object is emitting what are known as techno signatures, signals that suggest an artificial origin, possibly from an alien civilization. These signatures reportedly resemble lights or patterns that could be interpreted as evidence of advanced technology, similar to city lights seen from space on Earth. This has led some to speculate that we are observing an extraterrestrial civilization from a distance through the details, or though the details remain unclear. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm just like, this is so cool. This is, this is pretty wild stuff. It is important to remember that this isn't the first time that rumors of extraterrestrial life or UFOs have been tied to government secrecy. In recent years, the U.S. government has declassified a number of reports related to unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAPs, more commonly known as UFOs. In 2022, Rep uh, Representative Carson chaired a historic hearing on UAPs and the first of its kind in over 50 years. During that hearing, government officials admitted to having no explanation for a number of incidents, uh, incidents involving UAPs, but stopped short of acknowledging the presence of extraterrestrial life. In fact, we on Forbidden Frontier did a lot. We, we reported on these congressional hearings. Uh, David Grush, he did a bunch of interviews. We actually broke down each interview that he did, and especially the congressional hearing that he was in. And I'm pretty sure that's actually what they're referring to here. And Grush went all the way up to the edge, but he, he wasn't talking about extraterrestrial. In fact, he almost made it fairly clear that it wasn't from somewhere else. In fact, it was terrestrial or maybe a different plane of existence, like, I don't know, a higher dimension, a different dimension, something that we... Uh, some sort of a plane that we're not aware of or we can't see, right? Or it's not tangible to us because we live in this solid reality. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but this is the stuff that Grush was talking about. He was alluding to the fact that it wasn't extraterrestrial. It wasn't from out there in space. It actually has been here for quite some time. And there's people that have co contracts and dealings with these beings and there's de deals that have been made that we're not to be aware of or we're, you know the public isn't allowed to to know about these things so from what from what i'm gathering here this is a completely separate thing this is something new this is something that's in in our interstellar space that's heading in our direction and it's 10 light years away now that's 10, 10 years away at the speed of light. Now, I don't know how fast it's going, but I highly doubt it's moving anywhere close to the speed of light. So it's probably thousands of years away. I mean, the speed of light is the speed of light. It's incredibly fast and nothing can go with the speed of light except light, right? Or it breaks down the, the physics of our reality. I mean, 
maybe it's possible. Who knows, right? But as far as our reality is based, it's not possible. Okay, let's finish reading this. Uh, where was it? Okay, here we go. Could this new James Webb Space Telescope discovery be related to those earlier UAP incidents? I don't think so, personally. Oh, are we dealing with something entirely new? That's where that's where my head's at. One of the more pu uh, most puzzling aspects of the story is the timeline. If reports are to be believed, the object was first detected at least several months ago, and Congress has been receiving briefings on the situation ever since. Yet, despite the apparent urgency of these briefings, there has have been zero official public disclosures. This begs the question: Why are we being kept in the dark? Is there a fear that releasing this information could cause public panic, or is there another reason for the secrecy? Yeah, of course they they don't want anyone to know if, especially if there's actually technology that they could potentially inherit. Hmm. Oh, sorry, where was I here? Some have speculated that the object's behavior, its course corrections and changes in trajectory, could suggest that it is approach, approaching Earth. However, without more information, it's impossible to say whether this is the case. It's also unclear whether the object poses any kind of threat, though the fact that it has captured the attention of both scientific and defense agencies suggests that it is being taken very seriously. As the mystery deepens, all eyes are turning towards the upcoming UAP hearing scheduled for November of 2024. This hearing, which will likely focus on the growing numbers of UAP sightings and reports, could offer an opportunity for members of Congress to ask about the James Webb Space Telescope's finding. Will the object detected by the James Webb Space Telescope be discussed during the hearing? If so, will we finally get some answers about what the object is, where it came from, and why it seems to be moving in such a deliberate way? There are also a matter of the alleged radio signals coming from the object. According to some reports, the object has been emitting signals that are consistent with what scientists called a techno signature, a type of signal that suggests the presence of advanced technology. And according to the podcast that I was watching about this, it's almost as if the, the way this professor de described the sound, he said, if you took a, a huge dish like a radio antenna and a, a big satellite dish whatever and put it on the moon and aimed it at earth and took in all of the signals from all of earth at once that what that sound would sound like that's essentially the sound that they're supposedly hearing from this device like it's not it's not a sound that they hear there's sounds coming from space all over the place like they they are getting sounds from everything but they have answers and it, it's explained where these sounds are coming from and what's making these sounds um so it's not sounds as if we know it because sound has to travel on air um it's like radio waves and infrared pings i don't know the, the sign i'm not a scientist i'm not I don't claim to be so anyway uh but this is cool a techno signature if these signals are indeed coming from the object, it could mean we are witnessing evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. However, it's also possible that the signals have a more mundane explanation, such as a natural astro uh, astronomical phenomenon that we simply don't understand yet. One theory that has been floated is that the object could be a probe or spacecraft sent by an alien civilization to explore our solar system. A muamua, maybe? Sound familiar? Remember that thing? It came in from interstellar space, took a look around. We didn't even know it existed until after it was already on its way out, but it changed trajectory and sped up. Weird. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it was a scout coming in to check out our solar system. Like, what's up? Oh, there's people that are observing me. I'm going to skedaddle. People say it. I'm just saying. This would explain the course corrections and changes in its trajectory, as well as the presence of techno signatures. Alternatively, some have speculated the, that the object could be an extraterrestrial city or space station emitting lights that resemble those of a city on Earth. Of course, these are just theories, and without more information, it's impossible to say for sure what we're dealing with. What we do know 
is that the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of detecting far more than any telescope before it. Its ability to observe the universe in infrared light allows it to see objects and phenomena that were previously hidden from view. This makes it the perfect tool for discovering new planets, stars, and even signs of life beyond Earth. However, it also means that the James Webb Space Telescope is likely to uncover things that challenge our current understanding of the universe. Could this object be one of those discoveries? And the, the rest just goes into it. I will link, oops, got, sorry about that. I will link this uh, in the description of the, the show just so you can read it yourself if you'd like to. There's a little bit more. And uh, this is freaking cool. Now, there was, uh, Re Representative Carson was, was asked if he's been in a briefing about the James Webb Space Telescope, he had no comment. And then, of course, Nancy Mace, she's going to be chairing. And if you don't know, she's, I'd like to think that she's rather based. Okay. I think she's based. And this is the podcast that I was talking about from Vetted. All right. And uh, they talk about the non human object headed for Earth. And this is who I'm talking about right here. I just want to. I'm, actually, I gotta give me one sec. I have to. I'm just gonna share this real quick. You guys gotta hear this. I gotta do it over here. Give me one second, because I just want you to hear his. I I think I have this queued up at the right spot. Just let me just make sure I do. James Webb. There it is. Okay. And then we could possibly have found a signature of an ET, of an uh, an alien technological signature. We can't really nail oh. it. We need more data. But that's what they're doing right now. Pavel, that's why James Webb is looking for optical signatures. And that's why all these telescopes in the world, radio telescopes, are focusing in to get more data and get out of the list, get out of the low information zone. They are pointing everything on the planet they're they're pointing everything at this they're trying to find out what is going on incredible something's going on here all right i don't know what it is something's happening there's an object that they have found that they can't explain and i cannot wait to find out more about what it is <laughs> 